Hey guys, I'm Payal Kothari. I'm an integrative nutritionist and a gut health coach and I get my clients off antacids. Today we're talking about acidity, inflammation, acid reflux and migraines, getting rid of all of this without pill poppings. Balancing the pH levels of our body could be very challenging due to our lifestyle. Lifestyle induced imbalances in our body's pH levels can lead to all of this, especially acidity. The most common complaint from a 10 year old to our grandparents. Acidity leads to inflammation, acid reflux and migraines. All this due to bad food habits, poor nutrition, obesity, chronic stress, antibiotics and just simply regular pill popping. Certain carbohydrates, proteins and fats, dairy, meat, refined grains, white sugar, ready to eat sources such as mayo, ketchup, sometimes wine, coffee, tea, any of this in excess may produce acid during metabolism. Being in acidic or a pitta state according to Ayurveda, experiencing acid reflux, burping out sour acid from the stomach constantly has a huge effect on our body and mind state. Few reasons you could be in an acidic state uh, could be because of eating acid producing oily deep fried foods consistently, eating out too often, drinking aerated beverages and alcohol pretty often, eating out often drinking a lot of aerated beverages and of course alcohol often, eating very spicy foods, it could be at home or outside, smoking or doing shisha every day or doing or being secondhand smoking to shisha or to smoke, drinking inadequate or less amounts of water, eating processed carbohydrates like white bread, donuts, waffles, cakes, cookies, drinking strong tea or coffee on an empty stomach, irregular sleeping patterns and mainly chronic stress. Because of all these reasons, you could be acidic. The body throws out excess acid and it flushes out essential vitamins and minerals calcium, potassium from your bones and tissues via your kidneys, lungs and skin to balance the body's pH balance. It's a lot of hard work your body puts in. Inflammation is a signal from the body in times of trauma. If unnoticed, it leads to long-term inflammation, especially in the gut, the digestive system. Stress, wrong foods, not enough sleep lead to acidity affecting our sensitive body parts and they get inflamed. Bloating, weight gain, weight loss, acid reflux, migraines, mood swings, brain fog are the side effects of inflammation in a acidic body. Food intolerances, eating disorders, skin rashes, urinary tract infection, many chronic diseases including cancer are a cause of inflammation in the body. So please take inflammation seriously. Don't, don't dismiss it. Now, try these balancing cures for acidity, inflammation, acid reflux, migraines without pill popping. Ready? Cool. Toss out all deep fried packaged foods from your cupboard which have excess sodium, preservatives, stabilizers. Out they go of the window. Say no to refined sugary treats all the time. Donuts, bagels, cupcakes, waffles, aerated drinks, coffees and excessive teas. Instead, drink lots of coconut water and regular water. Limit your alcohol to only once a month or refrain till you're completely cured. Nobody's dying without alcohol here. No smoking or shisha for good or any form of tobacco chewing, not even an e-cigarette. Drink lots of clean water. Try infusing your water with mint leaves, cucumbers, watermelon, anything you want to put in your water which is natural is a great alkaline based water. Crowd in fresh alkaline fruits, bananas, lychees, apples, targola, guava, watermelon, mango and jambon. They are great alkaline fruits and all seasonal fruits are actually alkaline fruits. 
Another great tip is swap gluten for complex carbohydrates like uh, millets, apna juari, bajri, nachni, buckwheat, brown rice, etc. Cut down on all oily and spicy foods. Make the meal very simple and use different cooling oils like ghee, olive oil, coconut oil, sesame oil. All these oils are great to heal the inflammation. Eat fresh herbs like mint, basil, coriander, parsley, all of that. Put them in salads, put it in your vegetable juice. And last but not the least, sleep on time, less screen time, meditate before you sleep, read a good book, don't go binge watching with your Netflix and Hotstar serials, please. Okay, a few home remedies. Isabgul before going to bed. It's a great fiber and it really cools the system. It soaks up the acid in your stomach. So please eat Isabgul before you go to sleep. It's great. It's helped a lot of my clients and I'm sure it's going to help you as well. Crushed home ice to cool the body and migraines. So if you have those gel packs, you can put them on your head, put them on your eyes, you can put them on your tummy. You can also put it on under your feet. Or you can soak your feet in an ice bucket with lots of ice. A little bit of jaggery post meals or just an ice cube at the nape of your neck will really help you cool that migraine or that throbbing headache. Even a chilled virgin pina colada at home or a margarita at home would do wonders to cool that acid for you. So you will never ever have to pop pills ever again to cure acidity. I'm Pail Kothari and thank you for watching. If you like my channel, do subscribe to it and put your comments below if you have any questions. And remember, I get my clients off pills for acidity and I get my clients off all diets.